So you're working with more subscription-based apps. What are you facing when you're talking to them? With subscription apps, it's, it's you know, I mean, really the, the underlying use case is the same. People have figured out, okay, we've got something that's, that's we understand these metrics, the money is, the money is coming in. Essentially, they just need more capital to put into it. They, they realize there's something that works in order to scale it, then it's just a case of how do I find capital? So one observation is it tends to be, I mean, with free to play games, it tends to be people want to really shove money on the fire and really try and scale it and make the whole thing go exponential as, as we've all heard about. Um, with subscriptions, it tends to be a longer, slower, flatter burn that people are looking at. So recognizing it's not something you go from a hundred to a million to five million super quickly, but because you're building up this kind of nice recurring base over time, you can, you can afford to do it a little bit more slowly. You don't need to overpay for users so much because you're building up a subscription business. You're building more inertia in the flywheel.